Beretta is an American detective television series that aired on ABC from 1975 to 1978. The show is a revised version of the 1973-74 ABC series, Toma, starring Robert Blake. The series follows the life of a street-smart undercover detective named Tony Beretta. With its gritty realism and catchy theme song, Beretta quickly became a classic in the world of television detective shows. Set in an unnamed city, the series explores Beretta's efforts to solve various crimes while maintaining his undercover persona. Throughout its run, Beretta received critical acclaim for its innovative storytelling and memorable characters. To this day, the show remains a beloved piece of television history. Let's delve into the world of this classic series and explore the life of its unforgettable protagonist. Robert Blake, born Michael James Gubatosi, became a well-known figure in the world of television through his role in the 1975 series Beretta. His portrayal of the titular character earned him an Emmy Award in the same year. However, Blake's life was not without controversy. In 2004, he faced a high-profile murder trial for the killing of his wife, Bonnie Lee Bakley. Despite the accusations, Blake was acquitted of the charges. Following the trial, Blake found himself in the midst of another legal battle. He lost a wrongful death lawsuit, and the court ordered him to pay $30 million in damages. Despite these challenges, Blake continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in various films and television shows. In 2023, Robert Blake passed away due to heart failure at the age of 89. His contributions to the world of television, particularly through his role in Beretta, will always be remembered. The show, which followed the life of a street-smart undercover detective, became a classic in its own right and remains popular among older adults today. Throughout his career, Blake's talent and dedication to his craft were evident. Despite the controversies that arose later in his life, his impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. His work in Beretta and other projects will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. Tom Ewell, an accomplished actor known for his role in The Seven Year Itch and the TV series Beretta, began his acting career in theater and films in the 1940s. Ewell's performances in both film and television received critical acclaim and several awards. In The Seven Year Itch, Ewell played the lead role of Richard Sherman, a man whose wife and son leave him in New York City for the summer. The film, released in 1955, became a classic and cemented Ewell's status as a talented actor. Later in his career, Ewell took on the role of Detective Tony Beretta in the TV series Beretta, which aired from 1975 to 1975 to 1978. In this classic, Ewell portrayed a street-smart undercover detective who lived in a rundown hotel and had a pet cockatoo named Fred. The show was a hit and earned Ewell an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1976. Before his film and television career, Ewell was a successful stage actor. He made his Broadway debut in 1942 and went on to appear in several Broadway productions throughout the 1940s and 1950s. Ewell's performances in theater earned him a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play in 1953 for his role in The Shrek. Ewell's contributions to the world of acting span several decades, and he left behind a legacy that resonates with both film and theater enthusiasts. He died in 1994 in Los Angeles from undisclosed causes at the age of 85. Ewell's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, and his performances in The Seven Year Itch and Beretta continue to be cherished by audiences today. Michael D. Roberts, known for his role as Rooster in the classic 70s TV series Beretta, was a prominent figure in the world of television and film. With a career spanning several decades, Roberts made a name for himself as a streetwise informant on Beretta, but his acting credits extend far beyond this iconic role. In addition to his work on Beretta, Roberts appeared in a variety of TV shows and films, including Rain Man and The Night Stalker. His talent and dedication to his craft earned him respect and admiration from both audiences and industry professionals alike. Beyond his work in entertainment, Roberts was also an active member of the Church of Scientology. His faith and beliefs played a significant role in his life and career, shaping his perspective and approach to his work. As the years went on, Roberts continued to add to his impressive acting resume with credits in film and television extending into the early 2010s. His enduring talent and dedication to his craft have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry, and his work will no doubt continue to be cherished by audiences for years to come. Despite the many accolades and successes he experienced throughout his career, Roberts remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to seek out new roles and challenges, 
always striving to push himself as an actor and to deliver the best possible performances for his audiences. In the end, Michael D. Roberts' legacy as an actor is one of talent, dedication, and a deep love for the craft of acting. His work on Beretta and Beyond has left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry, and his contributions will be remembered and celebrated for generations to come. Edward Grover, an experienced actor, took on the role of Inspector Schiller in the 1975 TV series Beretta. His career began in the 1960s, and he had already made appearances in various TV shows such as Kojak and The Streets of San Francisco. Grover's portrayal of Inspector Schiller showcased his talent and versatility as an actor, contributing to the success of Beretta. The series followed the life of a street-smart undercover detective named Tony Beretta, played by Robert Blake. The show was known for its gritty and realistic depiction of police work and quickly gained popularity among viewers. After his role in Beretta, Grover continued to act in numerous TV shows and films throughout his career. His work in the entertainment industry left a lasting impact, and he remained active until his passing in 2016. Grover died in California at the age of 84, but the cause of his death remains unknown. Despite his long and successful career, Grover never lost his passion for acting. He was a dedicated professional who always gave his best in every role he played. His contributions to the world of television and film will always be remembered and appreciated by fans and industry professionals alike. Throughout his life, Grover was a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. He started his acting career in the 1960s and continued to work in the industry until his death in 2016. His dedication and commitment to his craft are an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder of the importance of pursuing one's passions. In the end, Edward Grover's legacy will always be associated with his memorable performances in various TV shows and films. His contributions to the entertainment industry will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Dana Elkar, an accomplished actor who left an indelible mark on both the small and big screens, is perhaps best known for his roles in the TV series Beretta and MacGyver. In the 70s hit series Beretta, Elkar played the role of Billy Truman, a character that added depth and complexity to the show's storyline. His portrayal of the character was so impressive that it helped solidify the show's status as a classic in television history. Throughout his career, Elkar appeared in numerous films and TV shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. However, it was his role as Pete Thornton in MacGyver that truly catapulted him to fame. In this series, Elkar played a more mature character, providing a stark contrast to his role in Beretta. Despite the differences between the two characters, Elkar's exceptional acting skills shone through, making him a beloved figure in the world of television. Interestingly, Elkar's personal life became intertwined with his professional career when he was diagnosed with macular degeneration, a condition that eventually led to blindness. However, instead of letting this setback hinder his career, Elkar's condition was incorporated into his MacGyver character. This decision not only demonstrated Elkar's resilience, but also served as a powerful reminder that physical limitations do not define a person's abilities. Dana Elkar's career spanned four decades, and he left an enduring legacy in the world of television. Despite facing significant challenges, he continued to act, inspiring countless individuals along the way. Sadly, Elkar passed away in 2005 due to complications from pneumonia. He was 77 years old. Nevertheless, his contributions to the entertainment industry will always be cherished, and his performances in Beretta and MacGyver will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Chino Fats Williams, a Bahamian-American actor, was a familiar face in the world of television and film. He was known for his tough guy roles, appearing in over 80 films and TV shows, including The Jerk and Rocky III. Among his many appearances was in the popular 70s TV series, Beretta. In Beretta, Williams played supporting roles, contributing to the show's gritty and realistic depiction of law enforcement. His performances were always memorable, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Williams' acting career spanned several decades, and he became a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His portrayal of tough guy characters was unforgettable, and he brought a unique energy to every role he played. Beyond Beretta, Williams appeared in numerous other TV shows and films, cementing his status as a respected and accomplished actor. His contributions to the world of entertainment will not be forgotten, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Kino Fats Williams passed away in 2017 in Los Angeles, leaving behind a long and storied career. 
The cause of his death was not disclosed, but his impact on the entertainment industry will not be forgotten. As we reflect on the life and career of this remarkable actor, we are reminded of the power of storytelling and the impact that a single performance can have on audiences. Chino Fats Williams will always be remembered for his contributions to this classic TV series and to the world of entertainment as a whole. Beretta is a classic television series that premiered in 1975. The show follows the life of a detective named Tony Beretta, played by Robert Blake, who works for the 77th precinct in an unnamed city. Beretta is known for his unorthodox methods and his pet cockatoo, Fred. The series is set in a bustling city with a high crime rate, where Beretta works tirelessly to solve cases and bring criminals to justice. Despite the danger and grit of his job, Beretta has a soft spot for the underdog and often goes out of his way to help those in need. Throughout the series, Beretta encounters a variety of characters, from fellow detectives to informants and criminals. Some of the most memorable characters include Billy Truman, Beretta's snitch, Rooster, a streetwise kid who looks up to Beretta, and Fats, a nightclub owner who often provides Beretta with information. Beretta was a groundbreaking show for its time, with its gritty realism and unconventional hero. It was nominated for several awards, including an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for Robert Blake. The show's iconic theme song, Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow, became a hit single and is still remembered today. This classic series remains popular among older adults who fondly remember the show's unique blend of drama, humor, and action. With its memorable characters and unforgettable theme song, Beretta continues to resonate with audiences today. The casting process for the 1975 TV series Beretta was a careful selection of talents, each with their unique journey to the show. Robert Blake, who played the lead role, was an interesting choice. Producers initially saw him as too intense for the part, but Blake's audition tape showcased his ability to balance toughness with vulnerability, winning him the role. For the character of Billy Truman, the producers sought a fresh face. Tom Ewell, initially considered, was ultimately deemed too famous. Instead, they chose Michael D. Roberts, who had previously worked with Blake. His chemistry with Blake during screen tests sealed the deal. The role of Detective Foley was given to Edward Grover. Known for his work in theater, Grover brought depth to the character. His audition was a simple read-through, but his natural fit for the role was evident. The casting of Roscoe, Beretta's tame cockatoo, was unique. A real-life bird, Roscoe was chosen for his calm demeanor and ability to work well with Blake. The bird's trainer, Clint Rowe, was also cast as Beretta's police partner, Tutti Bello. The casting of Beretta was a blend of talent, chemistry, and unique fits for each role. The process, though rigorous, resulted in a compelling series that resonated with audiences. The 1975 TV series Beretta is a classic detective show that has stood the test of time. The director, Dennis Dugan, played a crucial role in shaping the series' unique style and tone. Known for his innovative approach, Dugan drew inspiration from various creative influences. One of Dugan's key inspirations was the French New Wave movement. This influence is evident in Beretta's unconventional narrative structure and the use of handheld cameras, which were not commonly used in television at the time. Dugan's use of these techniques gave the series a raw, gritty feel that resonated with audiences. Dugan's directing style was also heavily influenced by the work of filmmakers like Martin Scorsese and Sergio Leone. He admired their ability to create intense, suspenseful scenes that kept viewers on the edge of their seats. Dugan incorporated this approach into Beretta, using close-ups and long takes to build tension and create a sense of urgency. Collaboration was essential to Dugan's creative process. He worked closely with the cast and crew to bring his vision to life. Dugan had a particular rapport with the show's star, Robert Blake, who played the titular character. Together, they developed Beretta's distinctive personality and mannerisms, such as his catchphrase, you can take that to the bank. Dugan's collaborative approach extended to the show's writers and crew members. He encouraged them to contribute their ideas and insights, creating a dynamic and collaborative atmosphere on set. This approach paid off, as Beretta became known for its innovative storytelling and memorable characters. In addition to his directorial vision, Dugan was also known for his ability to create a positive and supportive work environment. He treated everyone on set with respect and kindness, fostering a sense of community and camaraderie. This approach helped to create a productive and creative atmosphere where everyone felt valued and appreciated. 
In conclusion, Dennis Dugan's directorial vision was instrumental in bringing the 1975 TV series Beretta to life. His innovative approach, creative influences, and collaborative style helped to create a unique and memorable series that continues to captivate audiences today. The production of the 1975 TV series Beretta was a well-choreographed dance of creativity, logistics, and innovation. The set design, a crucial element, reflected the gritty, urban backdrop of the show. The producers aimed to create an environment that was both realistic and engaging, drawing viewers into the world of the street smart detective, Tony Beretta. The interiors of Beretta's apartment, the 12th precinct, and other locations were meticulously designed to convey the series' tone. The use of warm, earthy tones and the incorporation of practical, everyday items gave the sets a lived-in feel. The attention to detail was remarkable, with no aspect left to chance. For instance, Beretta's apartment was adorned with an eclectic mix of furnishings, reflecting the character's unique personality. When it came to filming locations, the production team opted for a mix of soundstage sets and real-world locations. This approach allowed them to capture the raw energy of the city while maintaining control over the shooting environment. The exterior shots of Beretta's apartment, for example, were filmed in a real New York City building, lending authenticity to the series. However, filming on location presented its own set of challenges. Coordinating with local authorities, managing crowds, and dealing with unpredictable weather were just a few of the hurdles the production team faced. To mitigate these issues, they relied on careful planning, strong communication, and a willingness to adapt. In terms of innovative techniques, Beretta's production made use of then cutting-edge technology, such as early video assist systems, such as early video assist systems. These devices allow the director and cinematographer to review footage immediately after shooting, facilitating quick adjustments and ensuring the desired visual style was achieved. Despite the logistical challenges and complexities of producing a TV series, the team behind Beretta managed to create a captivating, enduring show that resonates with viewers to this day. Their ability to weave together various elements, set design, locations, and innovative techniques resulted in a viewer experience that transcended the small screen. The creation of the Beretta soundtrack in 1975 was a collaborative effort between composer Mike Post and musician Dave Gruzan. The duo aimed to craft a score that would complement the gritty, street-smart tone of the TV series. Mike Post, who had previously worked on other successful TV shows, brought his expertise in crafting memorable themes. He created the iconic Beretta theme song, Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow, which became a top 40 hit in the US. The song's upbeat tempo and catchy melody provided a stark contrast to the show's dark themes, making it all the more memorable. Dave Grusin, a renowned jazz pianist, contributed his skills to the score's instrumental pieces. He composed a mix of jazz and blues music, which perfectly captured the seedy underworld of the show's setting. The music was often used to heighten the tension in action scenes or to add emotional depth to dramatic moments. The composers also incorporated elements of Italian music, paying homage to the show's protagonist, Tony Beretta, who was of Italian descent. This fusion of genres gave the soundtrack a unique flavor, setting it apart from other TV series of the time. According to Post, we wanted the music to feel like a character in the show, something that was always present and adding to the atmosphere. This approach resulted in a score that not only complemented the narrative, but also became an integral part of the show's identity. Gruzin echoed this sentiment, stating, the music had to be gritty and raw, just like the characters and the streets they inhabited. It was a challenge, but also a lot of fun. The Beretta soundtrack remains a testament to the power of music and storytelling, demonstrating how it can enhance narrative and emotional tone. The collaboration between Post, and Gruzan resulted in a score that has stood the test of time, leaving a lasting impact on the world of TV music. One of the most iconic scenes in Beretta is the episode titled The End, The Beginning. In this episode, Beretta's undercover operation is compromised, and he is forced to confront the danger head-on. The scene is a tense standoff between Beretta and the mobsters in a dark abandoned warehouse. The direction in this scene is masterful, with the use of shadows and dim lighting to create a sense of foreboding and danger. The camera angles are tight and focused, creating a claustrophobic atmosphere that heightens the tension. The pacing is deliberate and slow, building anticipation for the inevitable showdown. Robert Blake's performance as Beretta is exceptional in this scene. He exudes a quiet intensity, barely speaking a word as he surveys the situation with a steely gaze. 
When he finally does speak, his voice is low and menacing, a stark contrast to his usual light-hearted demeanor. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It showcases Beretta's toughness and determination, but also his vulnerability and humanity. The scene is a reminder that even the toughest detectives are not invulnerable to danger and fear. According to the show's producer, Stephen J. Cannell, the scene was inspired by classic westerns and film noir. He wanted to create a sense of danger and unpredictability, and he felt that Blake's performance was crucial in achieving that. Blake himself has commented on the scene, stating that it was one of his favorites to film. He appreciated the opportunity to showcase a different side of Beretta, one that was more serious and intense. Overall, the siren the end, the beginning episode, and its standoff scene have become iconic moments in television history. The direction, performance, and cinematography all come together to create a powerful and memorable scene that resonates with audiences to this day. The 1975 TV series Beretta, starring Robert Blake as a street-smart detective, made a significant cultural and social impact. The show resonated with audiences due to its gritty, realistic portrayal of police work and its focus on the character's personal life. Beretta's unconventional methods and his pet cockatoo, Fred, added to the show's appeal. Beretta's influence on pop culture was evident in the way it popularized the undercover cop genre. It paved the way for similar shows like Starsky and Hutch and Miami Vice. The series also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as crime, corruption, and the challenges faced by law enforcement officers. The character of Beretta, with his laid-back demeanor and unique fashion sense, became an iconic figure in popular culture. His signature look, including a rumpled trench coat, and fedora was widely imitated and became a symbol of cool. Moreover, Beretta's portrayal of a detective living in a dilapidated apartment building highlighted the struggles of urban dwellers and the challenges faced by working class Americans. The show also tackled issues such as drug addiction and the impact of crime on communities, contributing to important cultural conversations. In conclusion, Beretta's cultural and social impact can still be felt today. Its realistic portrayal of police work iconic characters, and exploration of relevant social themes made it a groundbreaking show that resonated with audiences and influenced pop culture. Beretta, the 1975 TV series, received mixed reviews from critics, but gained a significant following among audiences. The show, starring Robert Blake as the titular character, was praised for its gritty realism and Blake's intense performance. However, some critics criticized the show's violence and dark tone, the New York Times' John J. O'Connor described Beretta as another example of the current fashion for police series that try to be realistic by being brutal and depressing. On the other hand, Time Magazine's critic called Blake's performance extraordinary and noted that the show was more entertaining than other police dramas of the time. Despite the mixed reviews, Beretta was a hit with audiences and became one of the most popular shows of the 1970s. The series ran for four seasons and 82 episodes, and Blake won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1975. The awards and nominations that Beretta received were significant for those involved in the show. Blake's Emmy win was a testament to his talent and dedication to the role, while the show's nomination for Outstanding Drama Series showed that the series was recognized by the industry as one of the best of its time. Moreover, the show's success helped to establish Blake as a leading man and solidified his place in television history. The critical reception, while mixed, also contributed to the ongoing conversation about the role of violence and realism in television. In conclusion, while Beretta may not be remembered as one of the greatest TV shows of all time, it was a significant and influential series that left a lasting impact on the industry and its audience. During the filming of Beretta, Robert Blake, who played the title role, was known for his unusual method acting. He would often stay in character both on and off the set, much to the surprise of the cast and crew. In one scene, Blake was supposed to be eating a sandwich, but he insisted on using a real sandwich instead of a prop. Between takes, he would leave the sandwich on the ground, attracting a swarm of ants. When it was time to film again, Blake would simply brush off the ants and continue eating. The show's creator, Stephen J. Cannell, was also known for his unconventional approach to writing. He would often write entire scripts in just a few days, locking himself in a room with a typewriter and refusing to come out until he was finished. Canal's dedication to the show was unwavering, and he even wrote an episode while recovering from surgery. Despite the intensity of the production, there were still moments of levity on set. 
One of the show's writers, Roy Huggins, was known for his love of practical jokes. He would often hide behind set pieces and jump out to scare unsuspecting cast and crew members. In one instance, he even managed to scare Robert Blake, who was so startled that he accidentally fired his prop gun into the air. The show's theme song, Beretta's Theme, was performed by Sammy Davis Jr. and became a massive hit, reaching number three on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The song was originally written for another show, but when that show was canceled, Canal convinced the song's writer, Dave Bruzan, to let him use it for Beretta. Overall, the making of Beretta was a unique and unforgettable experience for all involved. From Robert Blake's intense method acting to Stephen J. Cannell's lightning fast writing, the show was a true testament to the creativity and dedication of the cast and crew. The 70s TV series Beretta has left a significant mark on television history. Starring Robert Blake as a street smart undercover detective, the show's raw and gritty portrayal of crime fighting was groundbreaking. Its realism resonated with audiences, making it one of the most popular shows of the decade. Beretta's influence can be seen in many subsequent police dramas. Its innovative use of handheld cameras and natural lighting set a new standard for TV production, paving the way for shows like NYPD Blue and The Shield. The series also broke new ground in its depiction of a complex, morally ambiguous protagonist, a trend that would continue in shows like The Sopranos and Breaking Bad. Beretta's impact extends beyond television. Its iconic theme song, Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow, became a pop culture phenomenon covered by numerous artists. The show's distinctive style and attitude have also been referenced in music, fashion, and even video games. In essence, Beretta was more than just a TV series. It was a cultural force that shaped the landscape of entertainment and left an indelible mark on film history. Its legacy continues to inspire and influence filmmakers today. Did Beretta leave a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear your stories, share your memories of this classic 70s TV series, and how it affected you personally. Maybe you admired Beretta's determination, or perhaps the show's gritty realism resonated with you. Whatever your connection, we'd be thrilled to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the enduring impact of Beretta and other iconic series that have shaped our lives. So, what are you waiting for? Join the conversation and share your Beretta experiences.